Because we are celebrating 135 years of chamber annual meetings today, I'd like for you to do a little time travel with me. Almost exactly 100 years ago, in May of 1917, the United States had entered World War I, and the Fort Worth Chamber's chairman was 35-year-old Benny Keith. Pretty amazing, 35 years old and was a chairman. He and chairman director Lewis Wortham had traveled to San Antonio seeking to secure war material business. While there, they heard that Britain's Royal Air Force had been there scouting southern U.S. sites for aviator training. The Brits had just left on a return trip for Washington, so the chamber duo hopped on the next train north to catch up to them. Now, how's that for a quick pivot? They caught up to the scouts, convinced them to come back to Fort Worth, and phoned Eamon Carter to, quote, roll out the red carpet for the most important visitors ever to arrive in town. One of the RAF inspectors would later say, the name of the station was quite obscure, a place no one had ever heard of. It was called Fort Worth. Well, after showing them several sites, the chamber pledged land and then set about leasing land from the residents. Three months later, the War Department and the chamber signed contracts establishing Camp Bowie Training Base and three flight training fields with new roads, railroad spurs, sewer, water, telephone connections, and a double-track streetcar. As a result, Fort Worth's economy boomed and the stage was set for aviation to become the legacy industry that it is here today. And all because of one sweet journey. This account is from the book Cold War Peacemaker, the story of Cowtown and Convair's B-36 by Dennis Jenkins and Don Pyatt. I share it with you today because it illustrates a very important reality about Fort Worth's journey and the chamber's role in it. From a fort to the fifth largest city in Texas, from cowboys to cockpits, from a place no one had heard of to a three-time All-American city with numerous accolades listed in your program. From Cowtown to Funky Town. And if you don't think this is Funky Town, just take a look at Bill Thornton's tie. Bill, that, uh, that Johnny Cupcakes tie that you have on, that's the best tie I've seen you wear. I want one of those. Fort Worth's journey has been fueled and driven by the cooperation dedication, and fanatical determination of chamber member business and civic leaders like you for 135 years. We've passed a lot of mile markers in that amount of time, and although the chamber has been a constant in the midst of many social, political, and technological changes, we cannot let standing firm means standing still. As useful as it is to look back, celebrate, and learn from it, we cannot loiter there. We must pivot quickly, like Mr. Keith, in order to meet the future. I'm reminded of a wise saying by French author and Nobel Prize laureate Andre Gede. One doesn't discover new lands without consenting to lose sight of the shore for a long time. Last week, the Census Bureau released population estimates that put Fort Worth as number seven on the list 
of U.S. cities with the largest population increase. As we grow in population, in geography, and in diversity, Fort Worth is on the cusp of some incredible opportunities, and yes, challenges, and we need all of you to be a part of navigating them. Earlier this year, to make sure that the chamber is doing its part and leading the way, we embarked upon a three-year strategic planning process. We asked Allison Baumeister to lead that effort, and of course, she readily agreed. Now that plan will be finalized this summer, but in your program, you'll see a framework of the chamber's three-year strategic plan. This whole process began last fall when we surveyed members about the chamber's mission, our role in the business community, and the evolution of Fort Worth. We received a good number of responses and some candid, very valuable feedback, some of which is also in your program today. Our board of directors then participated in a day-long retreat discussing what our core functions should be, and these are the top five priorities that resulted. Issues advocacy, talent development, existing business retention, business attraction, and entrepreneur and small business support. Coincidentally, the city of Fort Worth is also undertaking an economic development strategic planning process. And when that plan is introduced later this summer, we will integrate comparable strategies with the city's plan. Betsy, as you know, the city and chamber have enjoyed a long and productive partnership. And we're eager to see the synergies achieved by dovetailing these plans, and we are very excited about the future. You know, it's been a pleasure and a privilege to serve as your chairman and to serve our community in this way over the past year. My, how a year has flown by. I can't believe it's over. This is truly the most fun that I've had volunteering with any nonprofit ever. I would gladly do it again if they asked. The connectedness of being chairman and being in the know about what is going on in Fort Worth is exhilarating and makes me very excited about our city's future. I am very, very bullish on Fort Worth. And of course, one of the best parts of chairing the chamber is working with a strong, dedicated, and talented staff. Bill, you have an amazing team. I also want to thank my team members at Bank of Texas for all of their support, without which I would not have been able to do what I've done at the Chamber this year. And a special thanks to my wife, Robin, for her many years of encouragement, love, and support. You know, I am continually inspired by business leaders like you who truly love Fort Worth. At each chamber event this year, I introduce myself as the chairman of your Fort Worth Chamber of Commerce. This is your chamber. You are the Fort Worth Chamber. You and me, our companies, our startups, our small businesses, our family businesses, our educational institutions, our dreams for success, and yes, even our challenges. Indeed, our efforts to make Fort Worth the most vibrant and livable city in the United States of America. This is our journey. Let's keep it sweet. 